Hello Miata enthusiasts! Back in May of 2011 I purchased a wrecked 93 Miata C package for 800 bucks. It rear-ended another car and the kid had it just sitting there so we decided to sell it. The front frame rails were bent down and to the right pretty hard in front of the suspension mounts. This project took about a year and a half to complete first post in the Miata.net forum was June 1st, 2011, and the last post was on January 6, 2013. I posted all the pictures on the forum but lost the hosting of the website so they all disappeared, so I thought I would create this video to make a place where people could see the project again. This first picture is the car on its way home. The pictures in this video should be about in the proximate order that they are in on the forum, so you can see them there. Um, it had the 1.6 liter engine, of course, since it's a 93, um, but these following pictures are of the damage that was done to the car during the crash. As you can see, it had front frame rails already on it, so it had been in a crash before. So whenever I cut it apart, I went behind it. This is the car that I used to replace the front end pieces and some of the other pieces. Yeah. Here's the engine bay with the engine taken out. So. Um, that was a lot of work. Here's the engine on the bench. I'm gonna pull it apart and do a bunch of work on it and clean it up. Here I tried pulling the, fr I pulled the frame back straight so that the be behind the fi the shock mounts it would be straight. So here you can see the bend in the frame rail right there. So here I've cut the frame rails off behind the shock towers. That gives me a good clean starting point that's up close to the frame rails. This is where I'm going to put the bracket. So then I, this is the garbage piece that I cut off. Here I've cut the part off of the other car and I'm getting ready to weld it on. So I did a combination of TIG welding and MIG welding where it needed it. And then testing the fender placement. So you can see I had a pretty good line on the gap. And here's finishing up the welding. This right here is a picture of the driver's side of the frame rail with the stiffening unit on it, or the fish plate, or however you want to call it, that I welded on. Now I'm on to painting the, in the engine compartment. This is the primer, I'm getting with it all cleaned up and shots. There's my dad's Miata in the background there. So as you can see the frame rails are nice and straight now. And then I chose this green color so I sprayed it. Those wires there I actually tied up to the rafters in the shop so they'd be out of the way. Lots of pictures of it. Maybe the same ones over and over again. Oh, I know why these have are repeating. These are of the clear coat painted on, so they're a little shinier than the last picture. So here I'm working on the engine. I got it partially disassembled. Here's taking the head off, so I'm going to take the cams out and then pull the head bolts. So here's the head, um, head off. Maybe I didn't have to take the cams out. So here's the block by itself, <coughs> all dirty. Here's I've got the cams out and all the valves. And then I cleaned the engine and painted it black. It's a little shiny. Here's the head without the valves in it. Um, I put a board on the bottom because I did put the valves back in and I made this press thing that I put in my 
drill press and I pulled it down to put the springs on and put the keepers back in. Um, I cleaned out the big huge welds in the exhaust manifold so I had to grind it all out and then I welded along each of those four posts and this right here is looking down into the exhaust manifold with that big huge thing of weld and I ground it all out so it was nice and smooth there as well and then I put it all back together and welded around the collector and then here's a shot up inside so you can see where I welded the beams or the pieces together so here it's all back together and done and painted and put on the engine the engine's all back together um, I was trying to match the color scheme a little bit with the car but going with a darker green color instead of the light green here I got the fan belts back on and ready to put it in except for the intake manifold here I cleaned up the um, torque beam and got the front suspension all cleaned up and painted so now I'm putting the front suspension back together with all the pieces so I've had everything apart here I'm trying on the fenders the front fender on the driver's side is the only one I didn't get a replacement for so here's some more in pictures of the engine going back together and the suspension's on Here's a shot down below so you can see what it looks like. I had the springs I got, those silver ones were really tall so it looked like it was jacked up or something. It was awful. And they were really stiff too. So I painted the wheels this black and green color. I don't know if I ever really liked it but I didn't want them to be silver. So here's a close up of it. I did never, uh, here's underneath with the rear uh, rear suspension put back in. Now I'm starting to strip out the inside of the car so that I can paint in there. There I got it all stripped out and I covered up the front and the windshield so that I wouldn't overspray on that. Taking apart the back and the trunk. Um, the only it was barely any rust over on the under the battery, so that was made me happy. Um, gas cap, yes, that was a messy in there. So I started sanding and prepping everything for paint. Um, tried to clean out the interior as much as well as I could. I didn't like having all brown interior, so I started painting stuff with black to make the brown a trim instead of the full color. So here's the interior painting. I tried to cover up anything that was white or another color if there was any other color. The truck and trunk turned out nice and clean. So some more pictures of painting. And then I did the inside of the doors and the rear tail piece under the hood. I wanted to paint the outside of the car all together, so I painted the inside of everything first. Now I put it all together. Oh, I guess I did paint the headlights off of it. I know that's just a fancy roll, fancy bar, not a roll bar, so don't worry about that. It was, um, oh, that's a really blurry picture. So more sanding, prepping for paint. I put the back piece on it, it looks like here. Well, this is when I started it and did a little burnout to see if I got the engine running. So here, uh, here I got some new shock, uh, new springs that had some adjusters on them and they were sh much shorter, so I was able to actually get it down to a decent ride height, which made me happy. Got it all sanded and taped off now. Oh, here I rolled the fenders to make it so I didn't crack the paint afterwards. Here I painted the headlights. 
and I had a hard top for it, so I painted that and put some black stripes on it so that I can hopefully match up with the rest of the car. Taping it off, and put the headlights in. I think I tape those off whenever I paint it. Yep, I taped off the headlights and covered the wheels and everything. I, if you notice, I put I'm gonna put dual exhaust on it, so I cut out a hole on the driver's side for the exhaust pipe to come out. Here I've got it mostly painted but ran out of paint so you can see through it. Here I've got it fully painted and the stripes painted as well and then clear coated. But I had an issue with the driver's fender where they had some bondo and some makeup paint on it and it just bubbled and wouldn't stop. Um, here I had to repaint something in the back, so I had to tape it off. Now I got all the clear on it, everywhere I think. And this is where I ended up Santa, trying to fix that fender and the paint at the bottom of the can was a different color. It irritated me, but someday I'll paint that again. So the stripes, I think, turned out nice. Got the interior back together. Um, still a little more brown than I wanted, but it, I think it turned out pretty good. Here, I have it all together and was borrowed my dad's car so I could use it as an example. And here I took it out for the photo shoot in the front yard. There you can see the dual exhaust I made. it is in all its glory and then I let the kids drive it.